Hello everyone, welcome to this part where finally we're gonna fix some bug we got on uh, Android. So first thing I want to uh, to apologize about uh, didn't check uh, if Mobix uh, 5 was working on Android. Um, because for me I use it on native project but uh, I can fix the issue. But Expo uh, it's gonna be impossible so I'm gonna show you how we can fix it. So finally what happened it's um, Android don't have first thing here as you can see they don't have like uh, the assembled stuff so this thing can be fixed with an npm package but after that you're gonna get a problem we're gonna say finally uh, nothing work because of proxy and what happened it's Mobex 5 use proxy now and so as you can see here they say they have many other uh, they have two big advantage for doing this but the thing is uh, the Android part of React Native, the JavaScript core, is not as updated as the one from iOS. So that's one of the reasons, example, if you find this uh, package where you can update the JavaScript stuff, uh, JavaScript core from Android. If you use React Native plain, you can still use Mobex 5 and just follow this uh, tutorial here. Uh, they have like, you just need 5 or 16. So I'm going to put the link in the description, but for us, for those who use Expo here, what I'm going to do now, it's we're going to need to downgrade uh, Mobex to the version 4, okay? So first thing we're going to do is go inside iTerm, do Control c here, just to make sure I'm not going to get any future bug, I'm going to just close both. After that, I'm going to come here and I'm going to do remove node module and yarn that lock. If you use npm delete uh, package uh, that lock. After that, inside your code, inside your package JSON, here as you can see we have Mobex version 5.0.3. What we're gonna do, what we're gonna install now, it's gonna be another version. So the last version I find uh, for the version 4, and this is 4.3.2. You just do it like that. After that, you come back to your terminal and you install back all your dependency. So if you use uh, npm, do npm i or npm install and for yarn, we can just run yarn and that's gonna work. Uh, for those who ask, okay, yes, but if I use version four, do I'm gonna get it on performance? And uh, if you read here, the footprint of Mobex 5 should be pretty similar to four. So that's gonna be really comparable. And also here, look here, can only be used in an environment that's for proxy. No Node.js, React Native on Android only when JavaScript core is upgraded. So you see, the, the JavaScript core are gonna need to be updated before we can use this. So here now, we're gonna uh, rerun uh, the start from Expo. Okay, and now I'm gonna open my Android by doing exp Android. So that we're gonna open on Android device. So we're gonna wait a bit. Time, it's opening. Should be good. And after that, we're gonna also make sure that the iOS is still working. So if you understand what happened, it's the JavaScript of iOS. It's the it's the it's like the current JavaScript stuff, like with all the stuff in the modern browser but Android, they didn't update it. So that's why you need to follow this package here if you want to still use it in native. So now, you work in uh, Android. So we're gonna open it in iOS. I'm gonna surely receive a bug because they're gonna talk about my package, my, my package um, debugger, but that's gonna be fixed in a moment. I'm gonna wait a bit. So the first load, it's always long, but after that, it's pretty fast. So now we're gonna be good. Perfect. So as you can see, this one go to the home screen because remember, now the thing happened, it's um, uh, inside the model here, the current user. We check if we have the token. If we have the token, uh, after that, that get called here in the get user info, we get the user info in that navigate the main. And if you look in your server, you see here right there. The thing is, if I try this on Android, look what's gonna happen. I'm gonna continue with Google. 
and I'm gonna click, nothing happened. It's not a bug in Android. It just you don't we don't need the server. So what happened? It's we need to change this local host to be your own IP address. So you should search for your IP address, your local IP address, and just put it there to replace the local host. After that, that's gonna reset. Now open your um, iTerm or terminal, and I'll click continue with Google. And now I'm gonna click compare manual. I'm gonna click. Boom, now it worked. You see, now it hit the server. So this is the thing with the Android, they need to add the local host. But the beauty of this is if you change that, that's gonna still work also for um, um, uh, iOS. So one thing I can say now, is just uh, we can inside a constant, create an example at index.js. So that's gonna be where everything gonna start from the constant. And now here we can create a variable called base URL. And this one's gonna be the IP address we have. Like that. And now we can replace this stuff here by doing base URL, like that. And now we're gonna need to import it by doing from constant. Now because it's an index.js, we don't need to put the file and just say base URL. By doing this now, when we're gonna create many other API, we don't we don't care about this. So if I refresh the Android part, it still works. So I hope you enjoyed this little part just to resolve some bug in Android and we talk in the next one. Bye.